Hey, welcome back to Bedowers, everybody. I'm Chris Williams, joined by Tim Sitzman here. As you can see, we're, um, you know, I'm walking around Bedowers today. We're getting ready to pick the Iowa State-Iowa game here in 2011, and I see um, this tip-top lounge shirt. And that, I tell you what, that caught my eye. Because we got you, the airliner on here, too. No, don't, don't even worry about that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a big bar in Iowa, Iowa City, I guess. If, yes, it is. If you've ever been there. I've only, <laughs> I've only been there a couple times, and I try and get out of town as fast as possible. <laughs> Nonetheless, you know, I'm walking around, Tim, I see this uh, Tip Top Lounge t-shirt, and that's a, boy, I, I was telling Kevin earlier, I, I spent about two months there in one, uh, one night. In two I nights, you, yeah. yeah. Have you ever had the chili at the Tip Top no, Lounge? No, no, I have not had that pleasure. You need to, um, sometime before you go up to a Cyclone game, stop in about 5, 6 in the morning and have yourself a bowl of chili. It'll keep you warm, huh? It, ooh, <laughs> it'll keep you warm for hours. Yeah. Trust me. And if you go, and I'll tell you this, if you go to the Tip Top Lounge in Ames, Oh, let's go about a Saturday night at about 1 o'clock. It's rocking. Woo! You will see some characters in there. <laughs> and, you know, well, that's what makes college towns fun. Well, and that's what makes Bedowers fun. I mean, you got stuff like this. Yeah, this is awesome. This is a fun story, and it's it, it's kind of nice to be here for the second time doing a, doing a prediction. But uh, yeah. Bedowers is doing a wonderful job. We've changed it over a little bit. It's a, on the edge of fashion, but a lot of denim, a lot of things like we're wearing today. Mm -hmm. and, and It's a fun shop to stop in and see Kevin and Michael. And I'd, I'd encourage everybody to stop on Ingersoll and see what we're about. Check it out. Now we got to get down to business, Tim. Uh-oh. Iowa State hosting the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, I got Athlon right in front right, of me. Just it. a little bit of a guide. Uh, they have the Iowa Hawkeyes, the the enemy, going 8-4 and four this year. They got them 4-4 four and four in the Big Ten. Right. Um, you know, I, I'm not sold on Iowa this year. Right. I think they have questions on defense. Yeah. Uh, Vandenberg, I think, is a quality quarterback, but he's still not proven. Nope. I don't know. Uh, this is a game. This is my analysis on this game. Again, I'm not going to do my pick. If you watched the last video, I do my picks right before the season. That's just kind of how I roll. But my theory on this is, if you add it up, Paul Rhodes, during his two years at Iowa State, has been outscored 70 to 10 right. by Iowa. Right. Paul Rhodes was born and raised in Ankeny. He's coached at Iowa State before. He knows all about this rivalry. It means a ton to him. Right. You're telling me that Paul Rhodes isn't going to have put a little bit more emphasis on this game this year. He's not going to go McCarney on us and go crazy about the game. That's just Thank not you. it. I don't think he will either. I don't think he's going to do that. But you're telling me this isn't going to – you tell me that Paul hasn't felt a little bit of pressure when he – you know, he's going grocery shopping or I don't know if he does that. But if he's hanging out in Ankeny with his friends yeah. and the Cyclone fans, this is a huge game. Right. I think he feels a little bit more pressure this year. I think Iowa State now with this Big 12 – when you're playing nine conference games, this game means even more. Right. Because if you can somehow escape nine conference three and oh, your bowl chances are a heck of a lot better than two and one. Right. I'm not saying Iowa State's going to win this game. It is not going to be thirty-five to three or thirty-five to seven, though. That's just my opinion. Oh, I think it's a close game. You know, and you obviously wearing the airliner uh, T-shirt from uh, from Bedowers that uh, <laughs> emphasizes the same bar in Iowa City as yep. as maybe the Tip Top does in Ames. I think it's a very close game. I, I think it's decided in uh, in turnovers and, and, and miscues by either side. Uh, I, I kind of uh, I kind of agree with you, but I think Paul Rhodes's uh, emphasis on the Iowa game is certainly very very important and should always be. But I think he wants to be a, a contender in the Big Twelve. I think he's mm -hmm. I think he's he's non McCarnish in that respect. That the Iowa game is very important, and I agree with you to be uh, three and zero coming out of the non conference is certainly. Uh, Imperative, probably, to getting a real good bowl bid, but right. I, I really think he, he thinks he can compete in the in the Big Twelve, and I think they will. I think he's more his emphasis on building a program that's that's strong in their conference, and and Iowa being beating Iowa is certainly going to be important. I think it's a three point game. I think it's still Iowa okay. in the long run. I, I just I think your, your concerns about their depth and, and defense seems to be been always answered in the last few years. They have a way to, to bringing up young people that yes, you don't do. even don't even know, and they're the star of the next year. It, it's just, they're a deep program. They're an older program, a little more established. I think Paul Rhodes' program in three to five years will be that kind of program. I think that this is uh, this is pretty Captain Obvious-ish right. of me. It comes down to your quarterback if you're Iowa State. If one of those guys is clicking, yep. you, you've seen how an offense like Iowa State can really mess with Iowa ever since this regime has really been at Iowa City. The dink, the dunk, the sideways type stuff that Iowa State's wanting to run. Iowa State's Got a new quarterback this year. Austin wasn't good at that. He, God knows we love Austin he, or not. He, he had some bad games against yeah. Iowa. He's not good at that. Yeah. That wasn't his thing. And right. now 
maybe maybe you got a guy we don't know, and that's the thing. You just yeah, don't know so about many, Iowa so many State. On, on, and it could be lopsided. You know, th this is a rivalry, and when you put those kinds of rivalries together, you just not you throw away the records and you throw away the history. I mean, we've gone for stretches where Iowa's won ten or so years in a row, and Iowa State's had five years in a row where they won. You just yeah. you just got to throw away the records, and that's what makes it a, makes it a fun game, and and it's a it's an interesting thing for our state because a lot of emphasis is on it. And I I personally wish it was at a different time of the year, but I like I like the rivalry. It's an eleven o'clock kick. It's on Fox Sports Net. I don't know, Tim. Again, I'm not going to make my pick today, but I have a pretty good feeling about this one. I, it's I, I don't know. It's weird. I, and, and if you follow this site, I don't pick this upset very often. I haven't the last two years, I believe. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, nobody fact checks me. On right. That. But I, I just have a feeling that it that Iowa State rise. They're tired of being the 70 to 10 deferential. Right. I agree with you. Even if Iowa does win this football game, it will not be by. 30 points. No. I just don't see that happening. No, I don't see it happening. I, I don't. I think they're a pretty evenly matched team, considering the new things coming into the positions that are important. Yep. You know, the defense for Iowa, the quarterback situation in Iowa State that we've referred to. I think there's a lot of newness there that it's pretty hard to predict. Uh, there's just there's just some things that, that that are coming back for Iowa that I think will uh, give them the strength to to win in the long run. But I think it's a 27-24 ball game. Okay. Well, Tim's got Iowa State starting off the season one and one. After a big, pretty comfortable win over Northern Iowa to start things off, a close loss to the Iowa Hawkeyes in Week 2. Next time, it's Iowa State at UConn on a Friday. And not an easy game. Freaky Fridays is what yeah, we're calling wow. it because of two Friday games this year for the Iowa State Cyclones. We're going to pick that one next time. Probably be back at Mr. B's next time, I would let's, imagine. Let's Tim. go to beautiful Clive, Iowa, but it's beautiful to be down in uh, Des Moines, Iowa on Ingersoll uh, these last two uh, shows. Tim's been, been good talking to you as always. We'll be back next time picking Iowa State versus UConn here at CycloneFanatic.com.